What's up guys, it's Winter Kills, and today we're back with another video, and yes, as you may notice, this is not a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! related video. Uh, basically, just to let you guys give a heads up, there's a little shift of things that are going to be happening here on this channel. I know beforehand, prior to this video, it was mostly all Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Uh, if, you were if you are here for Yu-Gi-Oh! content, don't worry, I will not be stopping or slowing down on any Yu-Gi-Oh! content that I've been previously doing. Um, so that will all be having as scheduled, but for those of you who do like to play Souls games or any sort of video game playthrough, if you like to watch that content, uh, that's something I'm going to be expanding to because I do realize that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a limited audience here on YouTube, and uh, a lot of people like to do video game playthroughs, and but I myself is something like I'd like to do um, for you guys. And I don't want to be the uh, same cookie cutter as everyone else is trying to be, you know, some of the big names on YouTube. And it's not easy, but I'm going to try my best to be original and um, obviously not, you know, something the same as everybody else. And that's not the kind of person I am. I like to be different than everybody. I don't like to copy anybody. I like to have my own way of doing things. Um, so, yeah, this the Yu-Gi-Oh! will not stop. That will continue. Um, this is just be an addition. Think of it as an addition, not as something taking over what was previously here. But anyways, um, enough of that jargon. So basically... This is Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Xbox One Edition. Um, Souls games finally have been released on the next-gen console. Xbox One is which I'm playing here. Uh, sadly, uh, with the release of Bloodborne on the PS4, I'm not able to get it because I only own Xbox One and 360. Um, and will not be able to play Bloodborne, at least for a while, until I can work something out with that. Um, and I was kind of upset about that it only came out on PS4. Um, because I was really excited to play the game as a Souls player. Um, and any of you, anyone else who uh, is a Souls player and uh, is watching this will understand that, you know, kind of might not make any sense to like, oh, they made Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and they put them on the Xbox and the PS4, but then they make Bloodborne, which, let's be honest, is basically Dark Souls 3, and they only put it on the PS4. So it's kind of frustrating, but uh, there's not a lot you can do about that, so... But basically, this is going to be a regular playthrough, walkthrough, I guess you could put that, and uh, we'll be doing all the DLCs, uh, the Ivory King DLC, uh, the Sunken King, and the Old Iron King, I believe, and then obviously the Scholar of the First Sin um, incorporated into all of that. So we will see how that plays out. Um, so this will be episode one, obviously, and uh, kind of excited to get this started, so we'll go ahead and hit the uh, A button to get started here. Um, yes, that is me. <laughs> um, so yeah, as things get rolling here, uh, basically I'm going to be working out the kinks, because as you probably have noticed already, I do not have a capture card for the Xbox yet. Uh, don't worry, this will not be a permanent thing. At least I hope it won't be. Um, to bring more high quality content to you guys and not in the form of just me recording my screen which will have to work for now um, and again I apologize if uh, it is not the best but we're gonna work with what we got here um, so we're gonna log into the Dark Souls 2 game server it's gonna retrieve some information and we're gonna scroll and we're gonna start a new game so let's go ahead and just yeah we want the blood on we want the blood on Right, this looks good. Alright. That's all good. Don't need to mess with any of that stuff. Don't really like to sort of have any custom settings, you know, just like to play the game the way it is. Perhaps you've seen it. Alright, well here's the cutscene. And again guys, I apologize in the back there. You can see my window in my room. There's my hand. Uh, try to ignore it. <laughs> cutscene. I'll be quiet now. For those of you who have not seen it. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. 
your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Wow, <laughs> I must say guys, this game does look a lot better on the next gen console. <laughs> it looks absolutely stunning. So much better than the 360 version. I just hope my setup here can capture that for you guys. <laughs> it will be uploaded in 1080p. And wow, that 60 FPS looks so good. I, I can't explain to you guys enough how amazing this looks right now. Here we are in Things Betwixt, ready to get started. Alrighty, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, alright. This is definitely going to take a while to get used to. I haven't played uh, Xbox in a while. Uh, too many dueling cards, guys, too many dueling cards, this is what will do to you. Uh. Yeah, those are our attacks, our roll, that's a run. Alright. Oh, gotta go get this item over here. Don't wanna forget this. I think it's a rusted coin over here. Ah, this camera angle is so, so, uh, I don't know, it's weird. I'm just not used to it. I keep turning the wrong way. <laughs> Alright. So basically, here we are in Things Betwixt, and we're about to go talk to the Fire Keepers. See what they got to say. We're going to get another cutscene here in a minute. I, I apologize if this video is just cutscenes. Um, that's kind of how the beginning of the game is. Yeah, we do uh, look mighty uh, zombie-like, so we're going to go ahead and uh, make our character. Seems 
seems to be the reference. Oh my poor face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate. Of the cursed. <laughs> what is your name? All right, now we're gonna get into our character design and name. So, what should we name our character? Hmm. This is gonna be a tough one. Oh man, how about we? name it. I don't know. This is kind of tough. Hmm. Alright, well, this, this is what we'll do. So, my previous playthroughs of Dark Souls 2 on the Xbox 360, uh, my character's name was Poon the Slayer. Yes, the infamous Poon the Slayer. And then I played it, or, well, Dark Souls, Dark Souls playthrough, my name was Poon the Slayer. And then when Dark Souls 2 came around, it was named Poon Slayer the Second. So I guess it's only fitting we name him Poon Slayer the Third. And if you're wondering where I got this name from, this ridiculous name, uh, my friend Adam actually, who is also a uh, Souls player, um, gave me the idea for this name, Poon Slayer the Third. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's a little washed out. Yes, I recall my name. Yes, this is it. Poon Slayer the Third, are you sure of your name? I am, I am sure. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human <laughs> Apologize for the dog barks, guys, I really do. supposed to be. Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an energy of you. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to get into character design. So we'll choose our class and gift. Class, definitely going to be sticking with the knight. That is what I always have gone with. Um, no really rhyme or reason. I just like the knight class, and I think it's an overall good class. Actually, I could start off with the prived if I wanted to sort of do... Because I do want to do a strength build, and the best thing about the prived is that you get all of your souls when you reallocate. Um, instead of, you know, you're missing some. Because as you notice on all these other classes, the... Levels on, you know, vigor, strength, dexterity, and all that stuff is varied, um, and it's sort of staggered out more, I guess. But when undeprived, everything's even, and you're only at soul level one. Um, so basically, all these other uh, classes, I just would say like 12 soul level, 13, 12, 11, 14, 11. Um, so when you go to reallocate your souls, you aren't given those souls. So you sort of lose out on 14 of them. With deprived, you only lose out on one, because you're soul level one. Um, but I think I really do want to go with night class. Um, but I don't know if I want to do a, I do want to do a strength build, so we'll go ahead and start with a deprived <laughs> gift. We will choose, hmm, see the healing layers, the homeward bones. We don't need the homeward bones necessarily. Uh, the Seed of a Tree of Giants is going to be... I uh, don't need that yet, because we're not going to be doing too much PvP. Um, that's only for trading. The birds. I guess we'll take the Human Effigy. That wouldn't really uh, be too bad. 
So now we'll just head over. Nope, give me deprived back. <laughs> no, it's not our true self. How do you, how do I, how do I, how do I? I need to change my body. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gender, male, build. Would it be big, big beefy beat stick. Big, big beefy beat stick. That one worked. Physique. Shredded. Alright. Face. Homeland. That one looks, he's like, ooh. Crimson chin looking. Crimson chin looking dude. We'll keep that. Hair. What in the world? <laughs> uh, nothing too crazy. I mean. That looks, that looks good. He looks like a, a beefcake, handsome beefcake looking guy. Eyebrow, or hair color, hair color, all right. We want some weird, we want some weird wacky hair. Some weird, some weird wacky hair here. How about we go with red? How about that? How about some red hair? I like it, I like it. I'm gonna give him a beard. He, needs, he looks like the guy who would have a big, 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 big old mountain man beard. Beard color obviously needs to match with his flamboyant red hair. <laughs> so there we go. Um, it's obviously stained from the blood of his enemies, we know that. Um, he's just that much of a badass. <laughs> That's the only uh, only logical explanation. And yeah, that, that looks about fine. I'm not going to go too much into detail with this one. Um, so we'll go ahead and finalize our creation. This is our true self. People come here for the same reason, to break the curse. You are no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going home. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. Those teeth, though. No, you can laugh now all you want. You just wait, you old, you old hags. <laughs> we'll show you. We'll show you what we can do. <laughs> Alright, so we are we are completely naked now. And uh, we're going to unlock that achievement self-recollection. Self-recollection? Blah! Self-recollection. Uh, I don't want to show details. So you're going to give us a ladle after we kill those big trolls. We'll come back here. We'll come back here later. But we're going to go up here. And grab ourselves a oh, human effigy. If we punch the chest, chest punch. Only the bro is to bro uh, stuff here. So we got this. I'm gonna roll out. I'm gonna light the first among the fire. Alright, so first bonfire of the playthrough. I will go ahead and grab this item right here after I punch my way through this wagon a little bit longer. There we go. Makes perfect sense. So we got a soul of a lost undead and a torch. Uh, items that will definitely come in handy later. So let's get those gestures. Um, well, we're going to wrap it up here. We're about at the 20 minute mark, guys. Don't worry. This is just a, a basically an intro video getting into the game. So this has been Dark Souls 2 Skull the First in Playthrough. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Like if you enjoyed, guys. As always, we'll see you later.